and then sleep doesn't come. Okay, but I want, but I want sleep. Obviously, you're in bed with your eyes closed, but it's not happening. Why? Maybe it's the bed's fault. Let's check the pillow. Synthetic filling is separated into hard lumps. That's definitely a, a problem. Pillowcase smells oddly. What about the blanket? Barely covers your toes, stretching over your soft belly. This is your body here, intimate and warm, breathing. Under your thrumming eyelids, you see a dizzying array of colors. You won't get off this carousel quite so easily. Let's uh, roll to the other side. It's a little better. Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Part of you is still trying to solve the case. Yeah, who killed that guy? Who? Something to do with, uh, what was it the lieutenant said? Union? And it's gone again. Your thoughts lost between the slowing brain waves. No more thoughts. Fall asleep now. Your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you. Until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images start forming. Uh, what the hell? What is this? We're in like a dream world. It's, it is a dream. No, what the shit? Whoa. Under a disco ball. Bloated corpse of a drunk. The scent of your childhood. Uh, the scent of my childhood. I, honestly, I don't remember anything. Do you remember your wife's hand on your face? Uh, no. Who, who? You said who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs between her legs and in her mouth? Tell me what this is. I, I'm not answering any, any more before you tell me who you are. You know who I am. I'm the bad day. The one where you ask her and then later in the streets wandering. It's the worst day of all time, Harry, dear. And it's coming. She will hear about it on the phone. Whoa. I'm the bad day, the one where you ask her and then later in the streets wandering. But this day hasn't happened? She will hear about it on the phone? Worst day of all time and it's coming. Reality will turn into a grotesque nightmare. This will be the last thing you did to her. Whoa. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? I don't know if we left or she left. Judging on how shitty we are, she probably did. I think I was left. That's right, funky baby. And you just stood there. One hand on the bottle and the other on your dick. Watching her go. Let it all be dragged away from you. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry boy. Where the hell are yours? I, I don't know, but maybe I can get it all back. No, it's gone. Three times gone Jeez. and never coming back. You failed. You failed me. You failed Elysium. Elysium? Uh, uh, what's Elysium? Everything. The pale and the isolas on the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning furious truth. 8,000 years of written history. So it's kind of like... I, everything. <laughs> it's just like being. You really dropped the ball, Harry. 4.6 billion people, and you failed every single one of them. You really fucked up. How? I think I've seen you before. No, you haven't. You're just sleep talking, and the act is wearing thin, too. The spots on the disco ball fade around you. Hmm. The spots on the disco ball fade around you. I guess we're talking mostly about what we're seeing here. We're kind of—he's like the bloated corpse or the the um, 
ancient reptilian brain, same thing, I imagine. It's just our inner thoughts analyzing what we're seeing here. You'll be back in those cold snake skins in no time. Sweating up the bay. Hmm. Stinky boy. Uh, uh, no, I can come back from this. You're not coming back from shit. Thrashing around in that high conductivity state of yours. Bumping into things and acting like a clown. Who are you kidding? Well, I, I'm trying to solve this, this case and... You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet, grinding in your head. Hmm. So, something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad. This dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, this dry. New type of hangover? <laughs> God, so wait, wait, wait. There's like, there's another type? Oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes to so soon already. A silent alarm goes off in your head like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Hmm. Time to go to work in the shit factory. <laughs> Wife. Holy. What the? Hey, we're day two, 7.30. Hey, uh, get going, buddy. Electrochemistry. Man, uh, is that how it's going to be now when I close my eyes? Yes. Wait till you see the one with the chick in it. It's going to be a good one. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. Hey, uh, what, what chick? Oh, you don't know? Some broad that messed you up. It'll come to you. It always does. That's got to be the wife. What the hell is going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. Why? Why is this happening? It's just that your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. Oh, you're too weak to say no now. Waking up is the worst part. Maybe somewhere down the line you could decline. Wait, wait, wait what is speed? Speed is a potent central nervous system stimulant. You keep it'll keep you propped up all day. Yesterday, what? Oh, it kept you propped up all day yesterday, despite your debilitating hangover. How else did you think this? You even got up from the floor. Its power, man, its professionalism, makes you feel like you're young again and ready to detect, ready to go to war against the world. I do need to get more of it then. Detecting is my life. Oh, we, we can opt in or we can try to get off the speed. Hmm. Tough call. We're maybe we try to clean up our act a little bit. You know, we had some revelations with the ex-wife and stuff. Oh, I, I can take this. I'm, I'm not going to go looking for speed. Are you sure? Ready to live on this pathetic shell of your life for, your, for days? Basically a week? Let's be honest. Two weeks, maybe three? You won't make it. Half the town will be dead by then. You'll be fired. No, that, no, that's a lie. I can do it without the speed. Half the town won't be dead. Yeah. Suit yourself, slow, sad shell man. See how you do without your spark. Yeah, it might be problematic. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, okay. Well, we have another thought that we can unlock. So we're doing it. Now, what do we want to go into? This is a temporary minus two to logic, minus two to empathy. Um, we're going to be doing some heavy lifting today. I'm just not sure if, like, any of these really call out to me. Maybe some kind of superstar. Um, it's only an hour and ten minutes. First, let's make this absolutely clear. No one is saying you're an actual superstar in the groupies and cocaine riddle with hepatitis C. Uh, strikes the lioness pose with a mic kind of way. You're not Guillaume Le Million or Davy Dewis. No, 
You're a metaphorical superstar. You bring that rock and roll authenticity and passion to a line of work where people don't expect or want to see it. Where some would say it doesn't belong. Law enforcement. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Some kind of superstar. Why not? Why not? Now let's check the mirror too, actually. All locked. All locked. Beautiful. Okay. Maybe Kim is, uh... His door doesn't seem accessible. I'm gonna actually check the balcony. If anybody or if he's out here. Nothing. Low on health, put points into endurance. Yeah, like we only have two health charges. I almost wonder if that would be worthwhile. But I... We've taken like... I think we've taken some hits, but... It's been fine. Oh. Okay. Kim wants to talk. Let's go talk to him straight away. Can you give us some tasks for the day? Morning. Gives you a quick nod. It looks like we can get to work at once. The union muscle turned up. He points to the mess hall doors. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. Why do we need to talk to them? Is this the, about getting that body down? Everything points to the dock workers union. The belt used for hanging him tracks in the mud. The circumstances in Martinez, my preliminary information, which of course uh, all may be wrong, but we still need to talk to them and it won't be easy. All right, well, what do you mean by rowdy? I mean, ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the union. These men here, men who drink beer for breakfast, there's talk of an armed wing of the union called the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for said policing. I think it's them. There's so many of them. Maybe we should call for reinforcements. Uh, that would just escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debardier's Union. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. So let's keep a cool head, okay? All right, we can do that. Yeah, streetwise, zoom right past. Do it on your own terms. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? Yes, of course. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Oh, we're definitely, definitely talking. Uh, let's see what we're wearing here. Do we want to have like... So drama versus conceptualization. Maybe that would be better for talking to people. Esprit de corps, like cops. We have that here. This is actually just straight up better than the uh, disco ass blazer. Plus we have the shivers from that. This one has suggestion, and this one is uh, the half-light. Going to be better than interfacing, likely. Even though I'm not sure if it will become a, a thing. Um, this gives us... We have another check now on the hanged man. And the barbell. If we wanted to. Measure head. We never even attacked him. The warded door. We have Joyce. A legendary check on Esprit de Corps. And conceptualization. Both... In, in legendary and impossible, so it's going to be tough. Just a moment. The old woman turns back to the cafeteria manager. And there's no public phones nearby. The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, Mom. Cafeteria manager appears genuinely apologetic. It's fine. I understand. Thank you anyway. She turns I'm back glad the... to see you again, dear. Okay, thanks you, Lena. Lena, right? The lady is distressed. Perhaps something more upbeat might cheer her up. Hmm. Uh, howdy, Lena. What's kicking? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. Maybe we can hook her up with the, uh, Kinema. A faint smile tells you she appreciates the effort, but at the moment her mind is on more serious matters. The union office probably has a phone, they, but I can't They do. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead, too. I can get you into the union booth, probably. 
Uh, wh what's wrong with the phone line? The manager was vague about it. Well, of course. W what do you need to use the phone for? To let the young woman who is house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and Gary were supposed to be back on Monday night. Uh-oh. they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. Uh-oh. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Uh, well, uh, has your husband ever gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. Huh. But you have more important things to worry about. More important than a missing expedition? I don't know. Expeditions often lead to something interesting. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what is this expedition your husband was on? Uh, just some field work, sweetie. Uh, Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast, across the waterlock, to set a few traps. Said they'd be back on Monday. The waterlock opens Wednesday, I think, right? Well, what could be keeping them? I think it's the broken thing. Yeah. The waterlock that was broken. Could this be it? Well, uh, this Garrett person, you trust him? Oh, sweetie, it's nothing like that. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. Well, I do know the water lock to the other side of the coast is broken. They probably just stuck over there. Oh, my. What happened to the water lock? Uh, I, I, I really don't know. Well, whatever the case, I'm thankful, she returns to the lieutenant, to both of you. You spared me another sleepless night. Uh, you're welcome, ma'am. She turns back to you. I hate to ask, but... If your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. <laughs> yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. And uh, if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. Yeah, if I see him, I'll let him know you're here uh, when or if I get there. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Hmm, okay. Uh, do you know anything about this rare insect that he's looking for? Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating, she catches herself. But I shouldn't bore you with an etymological minutia. Lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. No, no, I, I want to hear about it. Well, she hesitates. It's... A phasmid, technically. Ah, oh, yes, phasmatodea. A diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, that sort of thing. Ghost insects, colloquially. Oh, yeah, here comes the interesting. Uh, where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. Disguises itself among the reeds here in the Insulindian coast. She looks you in the eye and nods thoughtfully. Hence its name, the Insulindian phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up dis co-discovering the phasmid with us, officers. Uh, to be honest, the uh, animal sounds like a cryptid. You wouldn't happen to be searching for some kind of gnome of Jeroma, would you? I smell pseudoscience, he's thinking. Not a big fan of that. Uh, it's simply elusive, so much more that most established zoologists doubt it exists at all. Establishment, his suspicion is confirmed. I thought so. What the? What makes you think the phasmids around here? Uh, well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They didn't know what it was, of course, that there was a brief article in the local newspaper. After their encounter with a ghost insect that looked like the reeds, Gary sent us clipping. Sent us the clipping. So uh, a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you have? Oh, of course. Most phasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insilindian phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. Hmm. Okay. Is, is this la is this dangerous? Chuckles to herself. Oh, not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? Is it valuable? Oh, I, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. No, oh, must have cool powers then. Oh yes, it can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. Her face lights up at the thought of it. It's how it stayed hidden all these years, centuries even. All right. Well, what's so special about this stick bug then? Oh, dear, uh, I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. The woman's face flushes with embarrassment. Uh, Morel can explain it much better. I, I wish you could hear him describe it. Then you'd understand, I'm sure. 
All right. Well, uh, hmm. We'll, we'll we'll look for him. Thanks. Can I help you? Yeah, uh, I know you want to be paid in advance. So about my bill for tonight. Yeah, here it is. Uh, good, you got the room for tonight. But remember, you'll need another twenty real tomorrow. Yes, thanks. So these are all, oh, it's separating it by day. Yep, cool. So everything we found on Monday, Tuesday, this is what we found. You told Lena. Morel is missing because of the broken water lock. She's still worried he hasn't come back. Let Morel know if you see him. All right. So she can probably tell us what he looks like, but I don't know if that ultimately matters. We're going to approach these guys. Tomatoes are so thinly sliced you can see through them. Is this open again? Or is this open? Not again, but by chance. Nope. It still goes into the Frita, right? But haven't been able to get in there. Yeah, this dude is not here anymore. Let me handle this. The woman says to the crowd in the mess hall before turning to you. Detective skin color. <laughs> I'm so black, as you can see. Ouch. Do you have any more keen eyed observations? Uh, well. Her entire character has shifted. This young woman is cold as ice. She's right. You're basically an eper, an ep epider, <laughs> epidermochromatic officer. Ah, you're the gardener. You lied. You're not just. Oh, you wait. Hold on a second. Uh. Hmm. So she's not a gardener then, which would explain some of the inconsistencies about why she was in the uh that place in the early months yes i'll just say you're the gardener and see what she says you're the gardener no yeah i'm not a gardener i'm a legal counselor for oh, the okay union. okay so you're a big deal so let's get to it you're looking for titus hardy you think he has information that will help you maybe he does points to the man on her right that must be this guy that's titus talk to him but know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming, nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. Yeah, okay, okay. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest. If yeah, we Kim. Have to. Says nothing, her glare speaks for her. Yeah, what's your role in all this then? And like I already told you, I'm a legal counselor. Do you have hearing problems? Yeah, okay, thanks. Uh, uh, why are you so aggressive? Aggressive? You make your living enforcing violence. These people are not, are just dock workers. Hmm, so you were spying on us. Now you represent murder suspects. Just dock workers. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful privatization of Ravishal. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all, and you're their bodyguards. Titus says, fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know what his voice is like yet. The tall, broad-shouldered man takes a sip of his beer. So ask what you came to ask or get back to your commanders. Hmm. I, I like that. Good start. Let's take it a step further. Armed uprising. What are the Union's plans? Look, a comedian. Her expression stiffens. Do your job, ask your questions, then get out of Martinez. Strange, it's as if people don't believe a cop would be a socialist revolutionary. <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk to Titus then. This will be, this will be interesting. Bowl, there's spit in it, reeking of tobacco. You see hawthorn bushes outside. Okay. People left money here. I'll take it. Thanks. Photos of men in overalls, toting guns, and union placards. Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. Looking right onto that yard, I guess. You see two, maybe three bushes grown in a single thicket over a period of circa 50 years. It takes time for a hedge like that to form. Let's look out the window. Ooh, it's not time yet. What does that mean? Mysterious door scene. And we have a buff because of these dice. 
Let's squint. There's a little side panel up there to let some air in. No need to open it in the spring. It's still too cold outside. One can't see into the union box from the yard outside. The oh, hawthorn is too sick, too thick. It's not time yet. Well, let's try it and then, I mean, if we roll double sixes, maybe. No. Nothing. Just like black dangles the like the hair of an old woman. Motionless. The wind in the yard doesn't reach the hawthorn, nor does light come in from this window. All right. Titus. Only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious for men sinny. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. 